Hey guys, some of you might have seen my earlier tutorial on making text thicker uh, by adding a stroke to it. And I wanted to show how we could make text thinner using a similar technique. So I'll just start off by saying this is a lot more unforgiving than making text thicker and it doesn't work with every font. So just be mindful of that. So once again, the only way we can do this is we need to outline our text. So if you're sure you're not going to need to edit it, um, let's go ahead and do that. So just going to make a duplicate there and we're going to outline it. Shift Command O. Now that's outlined, which is great. So we want to add a stroke and just to give you an idea of how it's going to look, if you make the stroke the same color as the background, then that really helps. Um, one thing that I like to do as well is to make the stroke align to the inside. So basically it just means it's not halfway over the edge of the letter. It's um, It starts from the edge and it comes on the inside there. So you can also play around with the corners. Um, this font here I don't really need to. There's no problem there. But just don't forget you can do that if you're getting funny results. So look, I might be pretty happy with that. It's um, You can tell it's from the, in the same font family and you might say, yep, great, we're done. The problem is, however, again, you've got this stroke. You don't want the stroke on there. If you put it over on a background, you're going to see it. We don't want that. And you don't want to have to go and change the color of the stroke to the background every single time you want to play with it. So basically what we're trying to do is get rid of this white line but keep the thickness of the black text there. So the way we do that is we highlight the text. We go to object path outline stroke. And now our stroke isn't a stroke anymore. It's, it's another shape. So that makes it really easy to use our shape builder tool. So if we click on that, once this is selected, if we click on that, um, the Shape Builder tool is really great. Uh, it, it shows you the shapes you can make. You can see it's highlighting there. If I was to click, it would make that shape for me. However, I want to remove shapes. I want to remove this white line. So if I hold down Option, it turns the plus into a minus like that. And while I'm holding down Option, if I click on that white space, it will disappear. And basically, I can just go through this whole section. And as I said, it could be really time consuming um, if it was a lot more text than that. But look, that's one way you can do it. And as you can see now, we've got this font um, exactly the same as our other one. It's a little bit thinner and there's no stroke to it, which is really great. Hope that helps. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments.